When Pakistan's JF-17 Thunder Block 3 touched down at Dubai Air Show 2025, something extraordinary happened. Delegations from 47 countries paused mid-conversation. Analysts lowered their binoculars, and even rival pilots stood silent as they watched the aircraft roll onto the tarmac. It wasn't a normal arrival. It was a message, bold, confident, and impossible to ignore. This wasn't merely an air show entry. It was a declaration of capability. As the jets settled under the Arabian sun, foreign officials, engineers, and military observers surrounded it with flashing cameras and notebooks, determined to understand how a fighter built at a fraction of Western cost was suddenly being compared to giants. Within hours, closed-door discussions began, and billion-dollar export deals quietly started forming. The global narrative changed instantly. The question was no longer, can the JF-17 compete? The real question became, can any country afford to overlook it now? If you haven't subscribed yet, do it now, because what follows will completely transform how you see modern fighter dominance. The Thunder entered Dubai with something few expected, a silent technological revolution. The JF-17 Block III didn't just appear, it arrived with proof of advancement. The aircraft showcased a fully operational active electronically scanned array, the KJ-7A ASA radar, at a price point that stunned Western defense planners. While competing radars cost tens or even hundreds of millions to integrate, Pakistan presented a system capable of tracking 15 targets simultaneously engaging four at once and detecting fighters beyond 170 kilometers, all at nearly one-tenth the cost. The radar processes close to a thousand pulse repetition frequencies every second, meaning traditional electronic jamming methods simply fail. Engineers from China and Turkey walked away with one conclusion. Pakistan didn't just buy advanced avionics, it mastered the formula for building them affordably. And yet, the radar, impressive as it was, wasn't the true shockwave. The real surprise was hanging beneath its wings. Weapon integration changed everything. Mounted openly for the world to see was a configuration that forced even seasoned pilots to look twice. The PL-15 long-range missiles with a kill range touching 300 kilometers sat beside the MAR-1 anti-radiation missile designed to blind and destroy enemy radar at roughly 100 kilometers distance. Few expected a lightweight fighter to carry such punch. The Thunder displayed compatibility with 17 different weapon classes, from precision bombs to anti-ship and standoff cruise missiles. All this capability on an airframe weighing just 6,500 kilograms empty. Compare that to an F-16, heavier at 8,570 kilograms, but carrying fewer weapon categories. The Thunder supports nearly 3,800 kilograms of external ordnance while still maintaining a thrust-to-weight ratio of 0.95, giving it tight-turning performance ideal for dogfight scenarios. Pakistan confirmed successful Ra'ad-2 cruise missile integration, extending strategic reach to 600 kilometers. Reporters photographed the loadout constantly, but the real transformation was inside the cockpit. The cockpit turned heads and rewrote expectations. Entering the JF-17 Block III cockpit means stepping into an interface worthy of jets triple its price. Three high-resolution multifunction displays filled the workspace with battlefield awareness, threat vectors, radar feed, weapon status, data link communications, everything visible at a glance. The helmet-mounted display goes further. Flight data, targeting, alerts, and missile lock cues projected directly onto the visor, allowing the pilot to aim simply by looking. No aircraft in its price range offers this level of pilot-first integration. Designed in collaboration with Chinese development teams and improved through real-world operational feedback, the system gives instantaneous control. Hands-on throttle and stick design allows 90% of combat actions without moving hands off primary controls. In high-speed engagements at Mach 1.6, tests showed pilots reacted 2.3 seconds faster, 
enough distance to close 1.2 to 2 kilometers. And when milliseconds determine survival, that edge is everything. The digital flight control system executes 60 micro-adjustments per second, responding faster than the human nervous system can register. But even supreme control means little if the aircraft cannot survive the battlefield that awaits it. The Thunder survivability system breaks convention. Block 3 reduces radar cross-section by nearly 40% compared to earlier variants. Radar absorbent coating across key surfaces dampens reflections while intake shaping reduces frontal signature, stealth-based concepts no one expected in this price bracket. The integrated electronic warfare suite scans, identifies, and responds to enemy radar threats automatically. Detection to countermeasure deployment happens in under one second, 0.8 seconds to be exact. In live fire testing, the suite defeated simulated surface-to-air missile attacks with an astonishing 94% success rate. The aircraft holds an internal countermeasure bay loaded with 120 chaff and flare rounds, programmable for threat-specific response. Analysts in Dubai learned that Pakistan reverse-engineered and enhanced an Israeli origin radar warning receiver, giving 360-degree threat awareness with just two degrees as move error, a capability typically reserved for top-tier Western aircraft. Add to that a heat suppression system that reduces infrared signature by 35%, and heat-seeking missiles rapidly lose lock during high-G evasive maneuvers. But defense is only powerful if a nation can afford to sustain it. And this is where the JF-17 disrupts global economics entirely. Operational cost is where Block 3 stomped competition. Pakistan revealed that the unit price of a Block 3 sits around $32 million, less than half of many 4.5 generation fighters. Flight hour cost is roughly $3,500, compared to $8,000 for an F-16 and $22,000 for Eurofighter Typhoon. Maintenance demands just 12 man hours per flight hour, while Western fighters require 18 to 25. Critical components last beyond 4,500 hours before requiring replacement cutting downtime dramatically. Pakistan Aeronautical Complex currently produces 25 aircraft annually and plans expansion to 35 by 2027. Buyers receive full training, spare supply for three years, and technology transfer options, something Western manufacturers rarely offer. Nigeria reported 97% fleet availability over 18 months, matching readiness levels of fleets costing three times more to operate. Delegations from 14 countries requested classified briefings after seeing numbers and capability firsthand. But one thing sealed credibility. Combat record. February 27, the day skeptics went silent. Operation Swift Retort shifted global perception of the JF-17. On that morning, JF-17s flew combat air patrol, while partner aircraft executed strikes across the line of control. Six targets, six direct hits, zero collateral damage. Pakistani EW measures jammed Indian radar grid, opening a silent 40-kilometer corridor lasting roughly eight minutes. When MiG-21s and Su-30 MKI scrambled to respond, JF-17s held air dominance. Two enemy aircraft were downed, Pakistan lost none. Post-operation review confirmed Pakistani pilots achieved multiple additional radar locks but did not fire due to engagement rules, proving restraint and capability side by side. Link 17 data sharing connected aircraft across the battle space, forming a digital network that overwhelmed Indian response patterns. Aviation Week later published independent confirmation that the JF-17 exceeded projected performance verifying Pakistan's multi-role claims. At Dubai Air Show 2025, when potential buyers asked about performance in war, Pakistan simply handed them February 27th mission logs. That was enough. Contracts began forming. Because in military aviation, combat record is the loudest language. The JF-17 Block 3 didn't just attend Dubai Air Show 2025, it changed the rules. From Acer radar and cockpit mastery to unmatched operational costs to real combat proof, 
Pakistan's thunder demonstrated that modern air power is no longer defined by price, size, or Western monopoly. It proved that capability and affordability can coexist and win. Pakistan has entered the aerospace arena not as an observer, but as a competitor, reshaping balance and market expectations worldwide. If this breakdown changed how you view modern fighter supremacy, like the video and subscribe. More hard truths and untold defense stories are coming. Tell us in the comments which JF-17 feature surprised you most. Your engagement keeps this mission in flight.